மதுரைக்கு போனால் மல்லிப்பூ எங்களை பார்த்து கண்ணாடிக்கும் பொன் கொடி தந்த பொன்மங்கள் இவங்க அந்த அளவுக்கு ஒரு அழகான நடிகை உள்ளதாக இருக்காங்க வாங்க போய் பார்க்கலாம் ஹலோ வி ஃபோய் மீடியா வியூவர்ஸ் நான் சொன்ன அழகான ஹீரோயின் வேற யாரும் இல்ல நம்ம ஸ்ரீயா சரண் தான் சோ வெல்கம் மேம் ஹாய் ஹாப்பி டு வாட்ச் யூ பேக் இன் தமிழ் சினிமா थैंक यू நர்கா சுரன் இஸ் ரிலீசிங் இன் a week or two so how did that role happen well i was going through many scripts and i came across this one uh, i'd seen karthik's film before so i trusted in him and he's a wonderful uh, filmmaker i heard him out i heard the script for 5 hours it was wow. in long detail <laughs> script narration and i love script uh, narrations i love script readings i love to go through uh, my dialogues and my scripts so it was it was really nice it was i really enjoyed it i fell in love with the script and like literally in like first 10 minutes and i was sold and um yeah i was, i i'm glad i'm part of the film because i saw the film and it's it's amazing it's a fantastic film We are eagerly looking forward to the film because the trailer seems to be so amazing, so intense. How is it working with Arvind Swamy, sir? He's very simple, down to earth guy. A lot of fun. He's extremely intelligent. He knows a lot about cinema. Um, yeah, and and uh, so you can just talk 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 about anything with him, like about diving and about films, and and also he's come from such a rich background with cinema. Like, I mean, look at the films he's done. um they are they you know the characters he's played and he's like part of our lives you know in a way <laughs> we all have, i mean i've grown up watching his films you know it was um and to be doing a film with him it was was quite it was quite a, 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 a beautiful experience um i like the way he puts his inputs and he loves writing so there's a lot of in depth understanding of the script that he has Um yeah I yeah it was a very, it was a great learning experience to work with him The best part of team Nargasuran It was a very young fun happy team um everyone really wanting to work hard and trying their best to give their best and you know everyone really excited about the film and there was a lot of positivity around the film like everyone was really excited to be on set and which is brilliant because that reflects on film And apart from that, our cameraman has captured Udi in a very beautiful way. Uh, the mist and the light and the evenings and the mornings and the rain, it, it's very magical. Like, you know, you're kind of five minutes into the film and you are in a different world. And that's what we tried, we wanted to achieve. And thanks to our cameraman, the background score is fantastic. And it's just everyone's come together to make a very wonderful film. Sila Mani Dargan. If not an artist, what would Shreya Sarin be? If not an artist, I would be a dancer, a Kathak dancer. Wow. Uh, yeah, I love performing on stage. Um, every time I'm on stage, I feel kind of a connection with some, you know, from power, some form of light. Well, it's kind of a meditation for me. It's kind of, uh, it's something that makes me really, really happy. Um, so if not an actor, I would be a dancer. Which I feel uh, every art form is connected. everything is an extension of another and dance has taught me a lot that i use in acting like you know kathak teaches you how to use your eyes as a main uh, main uh, uh, performing artist you you use a lot of your eyes you you lose a lot of your expressions but kathak is also very fluid it's very simple it's like literally means telling a story katha kehna so you tell a lot of storytelling and um and especially in the classical dance form so if you're doing um um if you're telling a story you play all the characters yeah. mostly yeah so you kind of learn how to switch from one character to another in a very beautiful fluid way like you're a mother and then suddenly you're a, you're a baby krishna and then you know it's like you turn around you take one twirl and you're sudden transformation yeah. well, okay so that is something that is something that uh helped me a lot in acting um so yeah 
During your struggle days, like what motivated you or who was the motivation behind you? I just wanted to be someone. I, I when I was my, to be honest, I got into acting very easily. I didn't really struggle to be here. Uh, I didn't really struggle to get good films. I was just lucky. Um, but I think my real struggle uh, is like now because it's constantly trying to break your image, trying to do different films, uh, trying to reach out to different directors, and trying to, um, you know change the genre from one to another um, get away from those five C four songs and one scene kind of cinema uh, which I'm, I'm I've been proud I've been part of and I'm very proud of that I've done that and like because it taught me a lot it was really hard to do that as well but I want to grow and evolve and do different roles in different films and it's constantly trying to create and recreate your image and you know speaking out and saying out that you know you want to do different films so for me it's it's and for every actor after every film is a film is a struggle constantly wanting to get new films constantly wanting to read different uh, stories and if you ask me uh, the the most in, uh, insecure time we actors are is actually not before we starting a film or not when we're doing a film and not before the film is going to be released but that actually between two films because you don't know what next is going exactly, to be exactly yeah you know it's like how do i how do because when you're shooting your whole day is like in a structure but when when you're not it's like you don't know what's going to be next you're reading scripts you're <laughs> listening to them and yeah so for every actor is combination of all of that to get into a good role and getting out of the role and trying to find another role it's just juggling with you know um different characters and all of that but i know i remember one thing that i always wanted to do give my best and i was always a very sincere kid um yeah so that's something that kind of got so me i guess here. your sincerity has brought you all this way long yeah i've had my ups and downs i've had my successes and i've had my failures but yeah I've never stopped working hard. Who's the biggest support system in your family? My mom, uh she always supports me, always uh, she's always held my hand. Um always uh, been very very protective. Also I come from a very uh, protective simple family. I'm from a very small town. I was born in Haridwar in the foothills of Himalaya. So I had a very um innocent childhood. Like I remember growing up, you know, you you could just run and go in the jungle and uh you know go trekking on the mountain and take your cycle and cycle around and um so yeah if you wanted to have a cup of coffee you didn't go to a a restaurant or a cafe but you go to your neighbor's aunt and she'll make you tea and um you know we always had one aunt who made chicken sandwich and one aunt who made like nice parathas and then there'll be one one aunt who make like nice dosas for you wow. so it was very it was very beautiful and simple and all you had I mean and if you wanted to go to your friend's house um you just take your cycle and go to your friend's house not like you know it's not like you get your car out and go and that <laughs> you know or getting a cab and all all the drama wasn't there so it was just really simple um so coming from there coming to uh films and fame and all of this i mean it's been um it, it's you know in the beginning it was really a, a different world for me uh but my parents stood by me and um they always believed in me and they always supported me a role you uh, like regret not doing and doing couple of films that came and i didn't do them and then couple of films that did and i shouldn't have done them well that's just how you know an actor's life is you uh, pick up stories you completely believe in them and then you're like why didn't it work and you just don't know why it didn't work but i feel that's better than doing films where you know you you using your mind to do and when they don't do well you feel really silly but when you choose with your heart at least you know that somewhere you uh it was you will you know that please you'll be happy by the end of it um so i try to use my heart more so i try to connect with people like i like to meet them i like to see um i like to see how uh, for instance um uh how a director narrates a script and um how well he's able to direct my imagination at that point of time because i feel a director's job is more about directing the audience into 
taking them where he wants to take them or exactly, she wants to yes. take them it's not about teaching me how to wear because I, that i know and it's about telling me it's about bringing me to a point where i can perform you know it's not like you can't teach someone how to wear you just have to bring them to that emotional level where it just comes out so i see that and i, I also see sometimes how they treat their ADs and how how are they like do they very true you know how they are with people outside when i meet them so i see all of that and uh, you kind of get an idea of what kind of person it is and once i know it's a good person and once i know that it's going to be a fun unit and once i know that there's there's something that i learned from them and it's a good script um i leave the rest because a lot happens between the the, the point that you write the script then to the point that it comes to editing table a lot goes up and down and it all depends on how a director puts these shots together it's like a puzzle on how you put it all together right so i you, you can't control everything but what you can control is at least you know that you'll have fun so it's not a single person thing it's like a teamwork it is you know like for instance it's all about you can have a you know you can have a great time but if your co-actor is not on the same page for simple reason if my co-actor likes to read my read lines like 20 times and like 10 retakes i wouldn't know what to do because i i am good in like the first four five shots retakes after that i get stale like i know that about myself but some people like to go on and on and on <laughs> and it's really hard so i'm saying you know like it, it happens sometimes you just don't get along with your co-star sometimes you don't go get along with people around Um fortunately I've always been really good with my co-actors. I've had I've been blessed with some really good co-actors to work with. But sometimes you know something always goes wrong. But as long as you learn something, you know you had a really interesting cameraman, a really interesting art director, and as long as you learn something, maybe it was a great style of telling a story, something, you know, something that or you make relationships for life, you know. Uh, and then of course the film is film i mean it will be remembered in your heart because you believe in the script and to begin with and what happens on friday honestly no one can control that <laughs> so yeah i try to 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 give my best and try to take as much as i can take back so having spoken about retakes mm-hmm. what are the maximum and minimum number of retakes i don't really know you know thank god now before i don't know if you remember we have this uh, i don't know if you're from that generation <laughs> i'm joking but there was a time when you know there was a there was a cameraman who would just like uh, a camera assistant who would just change the reel because it was like that and now it's all digital and everything is like record but that's it i mean you just like it's the whole drama of changing and there used to be like <laughs> sound right and i could not like for me i could only act with the sound came and suddenly when these cameras came in, i'm like dude there's no sound how do i act i don't feel like acting because it you have used been customized to that yeah like okay. some people are used to a fa- I, i i love the fan sound a lot of people can't sleep in it because i've grown up in that fan sound i didn't grow up in ac sound let's face it but some people love ac sound you know some people like uh you know that that sound of ac that goes if you don't know there's this there's a sound constantly in your room it bugs me sometimes like i can't do it after a while but i can take a fan sound okay. that was la, 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 la. so it's just that for me i was so i was in love with the sound you know that goes on so i could you know your emotions flow with that sound it's all me that's gone and i'm like damn it's gone <laughs> and it is like it's like now but it also has changed everything um It's so easy to make films, you know. Before, as a as a new actor, it was really so hard because if you take many retakes, then you have to change the reel, and it was really expensive. Blah 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 blah. But now it's all digital. You're gonna make hundred million shots. All you're wasting is time, but not, you know, it's not you know wasting the reel. Um, so yeah, it's fun. So according to you, how has cinema evolved? I don't know I haven't been there enough long enough uh but I know for a fact it's a very good time to be in cinema right now because they're writing constantly films for for uh for women and they're writing sp- scripts for um which are very smart and intelligent it's not about the the women oriented films are no longer a girl who's like fighting as a cop or who's not who's like a woman in distress who's like who needs to be helped and she's like should i the guy doesn't come <laughs> you know and the guy comes from somewhere and he comes and rescues her those films are not being made anymore 
I mean, they are, but it's not like people are bored of it. I'm glad people are bored of it because um, I don't know much about. Uh, I know I can speak for for Hindi cinema because I've grown up watching that. To be honest, um, and there was a time in the '70s, and all all in most of the big actresses they were married and they had kids and they were still working, and there were roles written for them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and and they look uh, and they give their best performances then because let's face it, with age you mature as an actor. Exactly. You see different things in life. You go through hardships. You go through and every pain, every every bit of pain, you kind of bring it together, and every bit of happiness that you see, you bring it together and you show it to the people. I mean, you can't manufacture emotions. You've seen them, you felt them, or you know them. That's how it is. Uh, so the older you are, the more interesting you are as an actor. It's like you know, it's like almost like wine. Like Kate Winslet, she's 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 so amazing right now, more than what she was at Titanic. You know, the kind of film she's doing now. Um, but now I think it's coming back. It's again, people are writing films for for women of all age, and I think it'll be really wonderful when they write a film for a forty-five or a fifty-year-old. You know, yeah. not showing her like. With grey white hair, but someone who's strong, beautiful, you know, actually taking the 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 weight of the whole film, which Julian Rob- Julia Roberts can, or Meryl Streep can. You don't. It's not that we don't have actors like that in our cinema, in all languages. Uh, we have enough actresses who can perform and do beautiful roles. It's just that nothing is written for them. So it's just, uh, and it's changing now. So it's a brilliant time to be in cinema. Had I been here, like maybe. Fifteen years back, you know where I am right now. I don't think uh, there was anything written for yeah. me at like twenty years or fifteen years back. So now you have a very good sketch of how a woman should be portrayed on cinema. Mm-hmm. Any plans of like turning a director or something? No, I'm. I don't think so. I'm. I'm far from it because it's, it needs a lot of. Uh, understanding of script. I don't understand script that well. I love reading books, and I can say it again and again that I made my lot of mistakes because I don't understand story narrations. Especially, I don't understand when they say, "I'm going to tell you your character," and I'm like, "No," <laughs> you know, the whole film I need to know. And then people don't understand that you need to know the the flow of the film exactly. to understand your character. Um, and it's not it's it's not it's not that um, I don't respect those directors who don't because. Some of the directors I've worked with who didn't tell me the story, and they made some masterpieces, and they made a great film. They just knew how to control my emotions, and they knew what they were showing the audience. So if they knew what they were doing, and they just didn't. They this is how they like to work, which is fine. But everyone's different, and I like to like take it all in and understand my character. And I think I've miles to go uh, for uh, for what I want to achieve as an actor. And then I have many, many more miles to go. Uh, if I ever become a director, <laughs> um, if I can do this in this life, yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, I have very high standards for if I ever become a director for myself. So it's like a uh, tough one. <laughs> <laughs> so you've worked with almost all the big stars in the industry, be it Hollywood, Bollywood, yeah. or Tollywood. Yeah. Talivar, Talapati, Agarjuna Garu. To be honest, I'm very lucky and and very fortunate that I worked with many actors and uh, some fantastic, 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 uh, uh, very talented people. So I'm really lucky and uh, very fortunate, and yeah, I'm just very blessed. And I hope that continues. <laughs> It will surely because Thank you're you. such a talent. Thank you. And. The way you're choosing scripts off late, they are all fabulous and offbeat. I'm trying to. I'm not trying. I don't think there's offbeat cinema. I think there is a good film, or a good cinema, or a bad cinema. So I don't think there's. I mean, of course, there's art cinema, but you know, off late. Uh, if you see the last few years, there's been a massive amalgamation, or you say, marriage of art and commercial, and it's not. It's, as long as the movie sells, it's it's good. It doesn't it doesn't matter where it's from. The genres are kind of merging, and uh, that's really interesting um, because that means the writers are not putting themselves in one genre, uh, which is, I think, which is very refreshing. Uh, but yes, I'm trying my best to do different films. So, um, you know, I did Midnight's Children, and after that, I was like, 
I, I, you know, I was uh, really excited about it and I worked really hard on it. And then after that, I was, the kind of films I was getting, I wasn't really excited about it. Um, I did them anyways and then I realized that I want to do something that I love. So I think then Manam happened to me um, in Telugu and then after that got me Putra Satakarni. So, you know, it's been a nice transformation. Um, I'm happy about Nargasoram because it's a really good film. It's a good cinema. So, uh, yeah. Which is the biggest compliment you've received till date? The biggest compliment I've received till date? Uh, I don't really know. Of late, people don't compliment you anymore. It's really sad. <laughs> why, why do you think so? <laughs> do you see men complimenting anymore? They just don't. It's really sad. But you deserve yeah, every Back in the day, do you remember, like, men would write poems and, you know, they would get flowers. Yeah, yeah. No, nothing like that happens. Men just say, hey, you look cool, you look hot. And I'm like, shut up. Like, you know, <laughs> find better words to describe me. Um, yeah, but I, I, I do get um, a lot of compliments and I do get a lot of flowers, people I love. Um, one of the best compliments I received was... Uh, uh, for an actor to receive is when the director says that um, either they say that you know they wrote the part uh, thinking you in mind or they say that um, you fit the role completely and I think there's nothing more flattering than that because that means that you know you're I mean I would love to I mean when Deepa came to me she said oh when I met Deepa I mean when I met Deepa or for the <laughs> film um, she said that you know I see you as, as this part. And I said, but Deepa, I don't, I don't see myself as Parvati. But I want to be Parvati. But help me. She said, you help, you help yourself. Um, so I worked really hard. I went to the slums and worked. And, um, you know, uh, I wrote about every character I met. And I used to write emails to Deepa. And at some point, I remember I wrote her an email. And she said, hey, that's it. You're done. Wow. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're done. And uh, so it was like, it was one of those moments where, you know, you realize that you can work hard on yourself and, and be anything you want to. Um, if you really want to from your heart and soul. So that's when I wanted to uh, kind of experiment and be different characters. However, as an actor, when you meet a director, and even if you don't believe in it, and when the director says that I see you as this, um, it's very flattering. A character close to your heart? Uh, surprisingly, Parvati is. Um, my character from Manam, Vashishti Devi from Gautmi Putta Satakarni. Um, I enjoyed being uh, Tamar Chalvi from Shivaji because it was so like. Exactly. Yeah, it was so crazy because you could be just, I could be just anything I wanted to You were the dream girl, be. you know, during that period. Even <laughs> I used to like idolize you in that Vaji Vaji <laughs> song and all. Literally beautiful. Thank you. That, um, I really enjoyed uh, being Gita and Aragosoram. It's, it's really a very interesting character. It's not, like people say what's so different about it. It's not. I mean, not every character, it's not like I'm playing as a, uh, it's not I'm playing like a like someone from uh, uh, you know one of those I'm not playing a superwoman or I'm not playing like a super cop or it's not that I'm coming from Mars or Jupiter and <laughs> doing something like that I've never done before. Uh, but it's just so relatable that this girl is so innocent. Yes, she she's so vulnerable. You want to fall in love with her. You want to you know take care of her. Um, and it breaks your heart for anything. Uh, it's just like she and her sense of humor she has a way of saying things like she'll have like one liner ready for everything and uh, she's so innocent like you know you you want to just go and grab her and like hug her she's really really adorable <laughs> I did a film called Tarka, which is very close to my heart, and I really wanted to release soon. But Prakash Raj directed it. Um, it has uh, <coughs> Nana Patikar in it. Then I did a film called Veera Bhagavasantarahalu. 
It's about a psycho killer. It's a psycho thriller. It's quite interesting. <laughs> uh, now you would say I'm doing thrillers. No, that's not true. This is very different from Nara Gosim. Like completely different. And then uh, I'm doing a, a film in Telugu. It's about a girl who can. Uh, it's very interesting. She can talk, but she can't hear. Oh. So it's really really interesting. It was a challenging one, I very suppose. Very challenging role. Okay. Um, and what happens to her? And you know, she's from a small village, and uh, she gets trapped in a situation, and it's very interesting. It's one of my fe- best films, and one of the. I'm really excited about it because it's the first time in Telugu that I'm working with a, a lady director. Her name is Sujana. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Kandasamy. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Kandasamy. Put a coffee, curry bowl, come with me. Hot dog, cold dog, yeah, got to party. Why should everybody watch Narika Suran? Well, it's a story told from the heart. It's a lot of love. It's uh, a lot of soul. I love the climax of the film. It'll uh, make you ask questions uh, which you never thought of. some really good looking actors in it <laughs> <laughs> um it has a great storyline it has a wonderful script it's a movie that will stay in your heart forever so please go watch the movie and please watch it in the theater um don't support piracy enjoy life as much as you can don't take stress don't manage stress give it out release it smile a lot um laugh a lot um and uh, go watch my movie by the sarum <laughs> thank you so much ma'am the way she told it in such a cute manner mm-hmm. you must definitely watch narga suran in theaters <laughs> it's releasing hardly in a week or two so all the very best for your future endeavors ma'am thank you